Hello everyone, Chris here. Well, I just did a Cladney sand pattern on this Baldwin R. This is a brand new soundboard I put in about a month ago. And it's been, uh, I usually let them sit for about a month so that uh, they'll develop the compression and acclimate to the room. Now, I did the Cladney sand pattern on this one. And uh, this board is uh, one of my favorite boards that I've made. And I wanted to show you how to interpret the sand on a piano soundboard, the sand pattern. So on this board what I did is I first tuned up the, I don't know if that's the right word, but I adjusted the lengths of the scallops so that the maximum velocity of the soundboard of each rib would be under the bridge. Uh, that's not always the case in uh, most soundboards. Uh, factories didn't take the time required to do that. And uh, it makes a big difference. And what it did here on this soundboard is this soundboard was vibrating the original and the uh, the new one at about 55 58 Hertz was the fundamental frequency after I adjusted the scallops and uh, further adjusted the soundboard thickness of the panel after it was glued in I got the vibrating frequency down to 47 and so now, how to interpret the pattern? The three things to look for that I found are getting the sand to go as far out to the perimeter as possible. You know, usually it's about um, three or four inches from the edge. And you want the sand pattern to go into the corner as much as possible. And then the the third thing is where the sand goes up in the treble. I found that you want the sand to go up to about the middle of this second section. The section's right here, it's under tape. And so here's about the middle. So this went right in the middle, like that. What's bad is like on diaphragmatic soundboards, the pattern goes up here like this. It does that and that indicates that it's uh, just vibrating too much it means it's uh, panels too thin the ribs are not tall enough and I've demonstrated that in other videos so this right here is a soundboard that is um, pretty much as good as it gets low vibrating frequency using the maximizes the board size and uh, Pretty, uh, pretty interesting, so I'm glad I did these Cladney tests over these last uh, several pianos. Learned a lot from it. I uh, highly recommend doing it. So I want to thank you guys very much. I appreciate it. And uh, <clears throat> here's just a little... I've got my, uh, my decal on there. Actually, my uh, brand. <laughs> I got, had an iron made and had the uh, uh, information I put on every board now. I'm really proud of uh, uh, the may changes I've made over the years on these boards to get them to sound as good as possible. All right, thanks for watching.